Hello everyone, my name is Bob. My daughter Naomi is all grown up now, but ever since she was little, she's wanted to write stories for children. These are her first three published books. The Perfect Fit, One More Try, and The Odd Fish. They're written by her and illustrated by her husband, James. This is her latest book, How to Make a Story. And along with How to Catch a Rainbow, it's written by her and illustrated by Anna Gomez. It's about a boy called Milo, who wants to make up a brand new story for himself, but he doesn't know how. However, with a little help from his family and his big imagination, Milo might just learn how to make up a story and how to share it too. I'd like to share how to make a story with you now. How to Make a Story by Naomi Jones and Anna Gomez. Milo wanted a story. Mum said he could choose a book from the shelf, but Milo wanted a brand new story just for him. Why don't you make one up? suggested Mum. But Milo didn't know how, and he was worried about getting it wrong. You can't get stories wrong, Mum told him. You just need a beginning, a middle and an end. Can you help me with the beginning? he asked. Mum had a little think. It could be about a boy called Wolf, shouted Milo. Then he raced out into the garden to look for ideas. I'm making up an amazing story about a boy called Wolf, Milo told Nana. What happens next? she asked. Um, I, I don't know, said Milo. People in stories often want something said Nana. Milo thought and thought, and then he had an idea. Wolf wanted to find lots of shiny treasure. Once upon a time in a deep dark jungle, Wolf looked and looked and looked, until finally he saw treasure. It was big and gold and very shiny, but there was a super scary tiger guarding it. Luckily, Wolf was really brave, so he crawled forwards. The tiger's tail twitched, and then she pounced. But Wolf was too fast for her. Milo ran inside. I'm making up a story, he told Dad. It's awesome, but I don't know what happens in the middle. Hmm, well, said Dad. The middle is usually where things get trickier and more exciting. Milo looked around for his next idea. It didn't take him long to find one. Crash! Rumble! Bang! Rock slide! shouted Wolf. Crash! Rumble! Bang! Rocks went everywhere. Under the rocks he spotted more and more shiny treasure, but... There were two slimy, dribbling monsters behind him, and they wanted to eat Wolf up. Slurp, slurp. Help! yelled Wolf. How was he going to escape? Just then, another idea popped into Milo's head. Aha! Look, bears! Wolf said. While the monsters were busy with the bears, he ran away. Milo thought his story was amazing, but he wasn't sure how to end it. So he went upstairs to look for ideas. Wolf started climbing a really, really, really big mountain, but the dribbling monsters were following him and they still looked very hungry. Wolf needed to hide. Milo hid in his den and looked at all the bricks he'd collected. Then he thought about Wolf's treasure. Maybe Wolf could make something with the treasure, just like how you make a story from words. 
perhaps it would help him find his ending. So Milo put all his bricks into a pile and began to build. Wolf made a gold chest from the treasure, but while he was busy, the dribbling monsters found him. Wolf realized they didn't actually look hungry, they looked sad. So he decided to share his treasure with them, to cheer them up. Finally, there was just one thing for Milo to say. The end! It had been lots of fun making up his own story from beginning to middle to end. And now Milo had another idea. After all, stories are so much better when they're shared. Wolf's Big Adventure Once upon a time in a deep dark jungle, Wolf looked and looked and looked until he finally saw treasure. It was big and gold and very shiny, but there was a super scary tiger guarding it. Luckily, Wolf was really brave, so he crawled forward the tiger's tail twitched, and then she pounced. But Wolf was way too fast for her. Crash, rumble, bang, rock slide, shouted Wolf. Rocks went everywhere. Under the rocks, he spotted more shiny treasure. But there were two slimy, dribbling monsters behind Wolf, and they wanted to eat him up. Help, yelled Wolf. How was he going to escape? Aha! Look! Bears! Wolf said. While the monsters were busy with the bears, he ran away. Wolf started climbing a really, really, really big mountain. But the dribbling monsters were following him, and they still looked very hungry. Wolf needed to hide. Wolf made a gold chest from the treasure. But while he was busy, the dribbling monsters found him. Wolf realized they didn't actually look hungry, they looked sad. So he decided to share his treasure with them to cheer them up. Yeah. The end. After sharing his story with his brother and sister, Milo knew just where to keep it safe until it was story time again. The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed that everyone. If you'd like to get your own copy of How to Make a Story or any of Naomi's other books, they're of course all available online and at all good bookstores. If you enjoy them, please do ask your grown-up to leave a review. You can also watch videos of me reading Naomi's other stories on Naomi and James's YouTube channel. I'll be back here very soon with another story. Until then, goodbye.